I'm Dexter Henry, and this is the Sports Beat on the BEN Network. The fans of University of Alabama Birmingham want their football team back. Last December, the university announced that it was shutting down its football program. But recently, the program has received a big boost. The UAB Athletics Assessment Task Force announced that it has received pledges totaling almost $6 million from supporters who want to bring back the football program. Since 1999, when they became a member of the Conference USA, UAB has one, yes, one postseason bowl appearance. That was back in 2004 when they got smacked by Hawaii 59 to 40 in the Hawaii Bowl. This is a program that has 37 wins and 82 losses over the past 10 years. Now, I wish I could raise $6 million after below average performances for well over a decade, but that's not gonna happen. Now, if you're wondering why the university shut down their program, the reason was because they were losing money. However, it appears that that may not entirely be true. On March 7, 2015, UAB hired Bay Area firm OSKR to prepare a report for the UAB task force detailing the concerns they had about operating a football program at a loss. One week later, the $80,000 contract was canceled by the university over concerns that OSKR would be biased in its approach. The firm ignored the cancellation and continued with its work anyway. To paraquote the character Lester Freeman from HBO's critically acclaimed drama The Wire, follow the money and you don't know where it's going to take you. OSKR followed the money and they released a 156-page report that showed the football program actually had a modest return during the 2013-2014 season, and revenue for the program is projected to increase in the coming year. The firm says its analysis was based on UAB finances and national studies on the economics of college sports, which was said to have calculated to produce conservative estimates. If more generous assumptions were made about anticipated revenues and expenses, the annual surplus for the school could potentially reach $2.2 million. Well, they already have a cool six mil from their fans. That's a wrap for the Sports Beat. I'm Dexter Henry on the BEN Network, where jobs come first.